of the things uh, that we've observed about the way the magazine works and some of its properties, something that emerged in the research that was really interesting was that they can be completed, that they're very knowable, that one can read through it and finish it and have a sense that, that they've consumed an editorial package uh, without necessarily the kind of endless, infinitely expanding RSS feed, for example, where there really is no end. So the reader can orient themselves uh, inside uh, the magazine. Uh, we have this uh, very light-footed sort of head-up overlay, which just shows how much material is, uh, is they've been through uh, in the magazine that's before them and how much is yet to come. Critically, there's no um, <clears throat> change in the layout uh, with the different orientations of the device. We didn't want to make a distinction between, say, the spread image reading experience and the, the reading, deeper reading experience. Each of the orientations suits one of the mechanisms better than the other, but we don't want to impose that on the, on the reader. So if you position it in, this, in, this, in the vertical position, it's better for uh, text reading, and if you position it horizontally, if you turn it horizontally, it suits uh, uh, landscape images. But there's no, forced, there's no forced UI change there. Obviously, we don't want to interrupt the core reading experience. I'm very keen to make sure the UI doesn't get in the way of the materials. There aren't, it's not covered in buttons. But, you know, there are certain functions like search or save for later, bookmarking, etc., which are really important. So uh, we've had to think about ways that you can call up uh, simple functions uh, inside the UI. reader rubs the device to, 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 to heat up the content. When the content of the magazine is in this heated mode, uh, we can act on any of the atoms uh, simply by touching them. And this, this throws up this radial menu uh, with the uh, contextually appropriate options uh, to cut out or send to a friend uh, or you know, to draw in material from the web, whatever is appropriate for that, for that particular piece of content. We've moved on to look at some of the ways that the device might occupy the world, especially since that's so important for magazines. Uh, what happens when it's put down and left in an idle state, how the spine might behave. It manages to strike a, a very capable balance between very luxurious, impactful, dramatic imagery, um, large photographs, inviting, engaging images and also sort of richer, deeper reading experiences where you may be able to lose yourself in an article or much more kind of a much chewier piece of content.